Hey, I'm taking a video actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we're, in, we're, in, we're in line at the airport. Video time. <laughs> always video time. We've always wanted to go to London and we found some cheap flights in April and here we go. And we've got. It's sad that the Queen's gone though. All kinds of. Well, yeah. Don't forget to get Ryan. I did. I, I no, he him. really wants to be in the video, though. Yeah, I know, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ohana means family, and family means dad is drinking before noon again. Why are my fingers in the way? <laughs> that kind of sucks. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Roos! <laughs> Long time, no see. Yeah. <laughs> Smile. I'm right here. Guy. <laughs> what? You're videoing again? Yes, of course I'm videoing. Not to like usual. So I follow a lot of vloggers on YouTube and I think that a little bit of the air travel that they show is romanticized. Um, it is definitely uh, an experience, but if you're if you're an economy like us, you take what you can get. Get it to the hotel. This is exactly the kind of room I wanted to stay in when we came to London. This is fantastic. I did that whole thing. Guess what? You weren't recording? I wasn't recording. Okay. Did you see the cute phone? <laughs> I'd like to ring for the guards, please. Uh, uh, yes, just send them up in the lift. We're uh, at their hotel. Oh! How did we even read our guy? He wasn't terribly friendly, but he wasn't I really think friendly. That's <laughs> Cheers. Yes. <laughs> this is the bar board with pheasant, rabbit, and venison scotch eggs, and then some red currant ketchup, and then we've got a sausage roll, and some fries, and some curried mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. New buddies, though. Yeah, just found them hanging out in the wall. <laughs> this is Tina leading the way because nobody really knows what's going on, and I, including her. Yeah, including her, including me. <laughs> there were two carriages with footmen in red outfits. And then a fancy car behind them, and a whole bunch of police on motorbikes, and police on horses, and more horses. Just over there. We spent our first full day touring around London in an open top bus.
just in case you don't know which way the traffic is coming. <laughs> it smells like a toilet. <laughs> We are at Trafalgar Square. <laughs> How cool is that? Just remember when you do come to Trafalgar Square, don't ride the lion. So apparently you can't ride the lions, you can't feed the pigeons. Well, this zoo sucks. Look at the gate. <laughs> what are you seeing? Stop it. No, this no, is awesome. No. Yes, it is. No, this is awesome. Huh? I see the guards. I see the guards. frustrating the rest of our family because they want to get going. It's a little bit, but this is more important. This is like huge dreams come true for me. This is where I dreamed of living when I was a kid in Buckingham Palace and I can't say that I'm not disappointed that Elizabeth passed away before we got here because obviously I'm very disappointed. But it's nice to see everything still, I guess, before it gets changed up to Charles's insignia and whatnot. I'm happy to have been here. It's, it was exciting. It was really exciting. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty exciting. I had a little tear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Onward. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've recorded things and actually not hit record. You can just imagine this area thick with people whenever the royals come by just to catch a glimpse it's pretty interesting
You know what? It's, it's, I'm reminded of when we went to Niagara and I didn't do any research on anything. Uh -huh. And I was just in shock and awe. And it's just kind of incredible. And this is stuff, like most of it is stuff that I do. Yeah. I had no idea. Because I read. Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, I knew it was something big, but I didn't know it was like as big as it is. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this is White Tower. It's inside the Tower of London, and it still bears gold leaf and uh, standard, which means that it is still a royal palace. There has been no king or queen lived here since the 1600s, but it is still every bit as much of a palace as Buckingham or Windsor are. It is stunning. Dad, say something fun. Something fun. About your trip. <laughs> oh, this has been a wonderful trip. Because I so appreciate my daughters. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and this is where the crown jewels are stored underneath this black and gold clock. We're going to be going through here. That's Rod Stewart. I'm going to get him to sign my boobs. How are you enjoying your trip? I'm loving my trip. Yeah? Yes. I had a nice trip into the chapel over there. <laughs> Nice trip, see you next autumn. <laughs> <laughs> Westminster Abbey, and it's kind of hard to know how to feel, to be honest, because of, in one, on one hand, we're walking on hundreds of people's graves, and on the other hand, there's like, what, a thousand people walking around here today? Yeah, it says on one of the things that the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior is the only one that people are not allowed to walk on. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise everyone else is for a game. It's very interesting. Um, and we've lost half of our party, so we don't know where they are. So I'm gonna need you to take a really sneaky video because dad's gonna go out onto that checkered floor over there and pretend to fall down and break his leg or something. And then I'm going to sneak into the seats over there where the royals have all sat so my bum can touch the same seats as theirs did. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. 